prevent the spread of coronavirus. Yeah, wash your hands frequently and properly. And that may not be as easy as it sounds, especially when it comes to young kids. We sent Denver 7's Russell Haythorn home to his family to put his own kids to the test. What we know about coronavirus is that experts say it can live on surfaces like countertops, your hands, or even a glass of water anywhere from two hours to nine days. So we got this glow germ testing kit to see how quickly germs can spread and how many surfaces they're able to contaminate. We enlisted these two wild, crazy rascals, <laughs> AKA my kids to help us out. This is the powder-based simulated germs. We wiped this stuff all over their hands. <laughs> Why is it blue? Yeah. <laughs> My six-year-old germaphobe was immediately skeptical. And we're gonna see how long it takes for this to get all over other surfaces. Then we let them loose. I got it. With one rule, don't touch your face. Ooh, yeah. They played catch, ran, and one of their favorites, grocery store. We need some pancakes, looks like, and an orange. Never mind their lack of care loading the groceries. The point is, this is a good simulation of the germs we collectively spread in the real world. And after just 10 minutes of play, we flipped on the black light. Check out how disgusting the grocery cart is. Just goes to show you how quickly germs can Ew. spread. Look at that. While that's bad, remember those faces we told them not to touch? <laughs> My four-year-old had it everywhere, her mouth, her cheeks, even her little eye. <laughs> then we tried the simulated germ lotion. Rub it in. To demonstrate how long you need to wash your hands to get rid of germs. What I learned is that my six-year-old kindergartner has a new song at school. In the front, in the back, in between, and that's how we get our hands clean. Experts at Children's Hospital say you can also hum Happy Birthday twice or sing your ABCs. And so that means for at least 20 seconds, making lots of bubbles and foam when you wash your hands. So for sure after you use the bathroom, for sure before you eat anything. What we learned here is almost everything is covered in germs. So good hygiene is your best defense. You guys, I felt uh -oh. a little like a crime scene detective <laughs> with and your this own black home. light. <laughs> yeah. I should point out that this glow germ stuff is non-toxic, so that's a good, good thing. But this all underscores the importance of washing hands all yeah. the time, teaching kids to cough into their sleeve, mm. and then if you don't have access to soap and water, this stuff is a good idea, hand sanitizer. Yeah, you might need to teach us that new song. <laughs> yeah, she can teach you that. Yeah, there you go. Disgustingly adorable, Sarah. So or cute. adorably disgusting. Thank you for sharing. You yes. bet. Thanks, Russell.